pretty lights Look me in the face Tell me that you love me Even if it's fake Cause I don't fucking care Hey everyone, welcome back to this brand new video here on the channel of Games Home Life. In this video, I will show you another money glitch working off the latest patch of 1.44 and 1.45 in GTA 5 Online. So this glitch is really, really easy to do. It's easier than the previous one, but also this time this glitch will not be solo, so you need a friend to help you out. But that will be like just for one step. So you do not need him throughout the whole mission, you just need him for one step, that's all there is to it, but I will show you that in a second. So the things that you need for this glitch are only a facility, and you need to have a custom vehicle. So um, I recommend using the Elegy Retro Custom, but you can choose any Benny's vehicle that you have fully upgraded. Then you must make sure you are in a invite only session together with your friend and you two are together inside of your facility. So I'm going to show you um, here on screen, you need to fill up your facility garage with the cars. So there are seven spots actually left, so um, you have to fill up your cars in the order like I have them. So on the first six slots you need to have or on the first five slots, you need to have random cars, just like you see here. So I just ordered some random elegies there to fill up my garage. But the thing that is necessary for this one is on slot number six, you will need a free elegy standing right there. So that's why I did it in a different color. The rest of the cars do not matter as long as um, every spot is filled up. But um, on slot number six, you need to have that free elegy. And on slot number one, as you can see here on screen, you need to have your fully upgraded Benny's vehicle. So for me, I will be using the Elegy Retro Custom standing right there in slot number seven. So once you've got your park place set up like this, you are good to go and we can start up this glitch. So what you need to do is make your way upstairs together with your friends. So once you are here upstairs with your friend, what your friend has to go ahead and do is he has to stand behind the last car on the list. So there will be four cars on the left, you have your Elegy Retro Custom, then you have the Elegy, then you have just a random vehicle and next to that another random vehicle. So he has to stand behind the last vehicle. Now once he's standing behind there, you have to open up your pause menu, go to the jobs, go to play job, Rockstar created, go into the missions, and start up the very first mission, a titan of a job. Now I'm going to show you also here the gameplay for my friend here on screen, because once you're here on the setting screen of the mission, you just have to wait there. And what your friend has to do is he has to open up his pause menu while standing behind the car, go over to the friends tab, and he has to find you right there. So there will be me, so what he's going to do is he's going to hit X on my name and hit join game. Now once he sees this alert message right there on the screen, are you sure you want to join a different GTA Online session? What you have to do is you have to quit out of this job. So you just want to press quit and hit X and as soon as you see yourself spawning back inside your facility, your friend has to hit X. And if he did that correctly, he will see unable to connect to the session. Of course, because you have left the job. So that is all your friend has to do. Now he has to wait on this alert message until you are finished with the glitch. And if it's correctly, you should see that your friend is gone behind the car. If you still see him, he has to press X. He will be back in your facility and just repeat the steps. Now, if you see that um, he is gone behind your car, we can proceed over with the next steps of this glitch. So what you have to do is make your way outside of your facility and as soon as you walk into the yellow marker to go outside, it will say all exit facility or you want to exit the facility. Make sure you only hit exit facility and not all exit facility. So once you're outside of your facility, pull up your phone, go to the job list and make sure you have a heist unlocked from Lester. So mostly everyone will have that. It will turn up green in your jobs list. If you do not have a heist uh, mission invite from Lester, what you have to do is start up the heist, complete the very first mission, then just simply back out and then you will get an invite from Lester if you want to continue with the heist setup.
So once you see that you have the invite from Lester over to the heist, go ahead and return back inside your facility. So once you're inside your facility, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So I'm going to explain to you what to do now. You want to go over to the blue circle of your facility and we're basically be going to swap these cars. So don't worry, I will slow it down, but this part you have to do it really, really quick. So the thing is that you have to do with this is first of all, you want to go to where your four um, car spots are located. There you will see your two random cars, your Elegy and your Elegy Retro Custom or your Benny's Vehicle. Now what you have to do is stand on this car and you have to replace it with this one. Then you have to stand on your Elegy and replace it with the Elegy Retro Custom. And once you did that, you have to back out of this menu, pull up your phone and as quickly as possible accept the alerts to go over to the heist. So I'm going to show you that right now on screen, but I will slow it down so you know how to do it. All right, so as you can see right here, I am swapping this fourth car with the third car then I'm swapping the Elegy with the Retro Custom. I'm backing out, I'm pulling up my phone and I'm just going to accept the invite to go into the heist. Now this part can take a little long but if you eventually load inside your apartment or on the heist job setting screen simply hit quit and if you spawn in your apartment simply make your way outside the apartment. Now if you have um, loading in the bottom right corner simply ignore that. I don't think it is part of the glitch, but it still works if you have loading in the bottom right corner. So just go ahead and ignore that, it uh, doesn't really matter. Now once you're outside, you want to pull up your phone and you want to call your mechanic. Now you want to go over to your facility um, garage and from there you have to pick the, the seventh car. Alright, so it will be underneath your Elegy Retro Custom if you um, did it correctly. So here you have all my Elegies that I ordered at your Elegy Retro Custom and the or the Bennett vehicle and the other Elegy. So just scroll down and count down and order the seventh car. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So um, once you are on the seventh car, you want to hit X on that and then wait for it to come near to you. So once the car has arrived, it should be your Elegy. As you can see, I had the red one. So this is the correct one. What you have to do is drive inside any of your garages, which has a empty spot. So I'm going to show you right here. If it says garage full, simply hit um, O to exit that and then go back and just, you know, go inside any garage which has a free spot left. So once you are inside your garage with the Elegy, simply go back inside and drive back outside. And once you are back outside, you now want to make your way back over to the facility with this Elegy car. Now this can take some time because I don't know where your facility is located, but mine is all the way up there. So I'm just quickly going to drive up there and then I'll meet you in a second. So once you have arrived here at your facility, you're basically done with the glitch. So what I'm going to show you right now is really weird, but it is part of the glitch. So you have to take this Elegy and drive it inside the yellow circle to get inside your facility. Now you see that you are entering the facility with your Elegy, but when the screen goes black and you're actually spawning inside, you will be inside your duplicated Benny's vehicle or Elegy Retro Custom. And that's it, you basically now have the same number plate, so we're going to be changing that. But that is our duped vehicle, and next to that we have the original vehicle. So to make sure that these number plates actually uh, be different, because as you can see here on screen, they are the same, you want to enter your duped vehicle and drive out of the facility. Now once you're outside, you want to hold down your touchpad and simply request your MOC. So once you have your MOC Nerby, you're just going to take this duped vehicle and as you can see here on screen, the number plate did change into the one that the Elegy had. So that's what we want to have. You want to take it into the back of the MOC trailer. You just want to press right on the D-pad to get inside the back. Now once you're inside, you want to get back inside the vehicle and drive outside. And once you're outside, drive back inside, press right on the D-pad. 
And once you're inside, get back in the car and go back outside. And now you can store it up any garage. You can return it back over to your facility and you know save it on a different car spot. I would not recommend that because sometimes it will spawn outside. I thought I lost it after doing the glitch. But I will recommend saving it on a different garage or just selling it immediately. So this was how to duplicate the cars. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back in the next video of course. Please leave a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications to get informed with more new content here on the channel of Game Time Live. Bye everyone!